Hey, this is Git0422 bringing you another video. Uh, this is going to be about silver thorn combos. So, the main purpose of this video is to go over all combos that I could possibly think of that you could do with silver thorns depending on what's on your field and your hand and the things you could possibly do uh, to make the most out of what you have. So, hopefully. I'm able to get to you all and you're able to understand it. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoy it. Otherwise, let's get started. So, the first combo is going to be this. Pretend the grade zero is Irinella if you want. Uh, but one thing you can do is when you ride into grade two, you ideally could run in, ride into Marisica and then say put uh, something like Irina uh, right here as a side booster and then use something like a 12k attacker if you want you can use that to then use it as the other attacking column over here for instance and you could go a 12k to this or 14k uh and then call a cart but ideally you'd go 12 to to this so you attack and then you do the 12k over here uh, the you do the 14 which is this and so then after that that would call another card hopefully uh, For set 13 you can hopefully bet on it having a Another grade 2 possibly in there in your soul or another grade 1 depending on like if you get to trigger or not You could try to bet on you gain another grade 2 in soul for instance like a 10k or a 12k preferably would be the ideal situation where then you'd be able to hit again for 17 and that is one combo you can do to where you can hit three times on on grade two with say putting the least amount of cards down by only doing three now another one you can also do say that grade two and at 9k uh you could probably do this you can go about this doing the same combo and then this one can scale to 19. so you could go say marisa cut a rear guard to call this then you can go 12 to the 9 and then the 19 to the 20 the the 19 to the 19 on the case of him hitting a trigger so no matter what you can still hit two times if you're going second uh, that is another thing you possibly do as well so now i'm gonna go over kind of a break ride combo you can do when your opponent's at three damage and you happen to be at four so say you break ride i'm gonna use venus as an example you can break ride this with Lukia as well and do the same thing but you could break ride do the counter blast to call uh fulfilled for instance and we'll go with the ideal situation so i skipped to where we needed to go so we didn't have to wait for me to move everything in uh but say this is this is what you call out this line could be would be the first thing you call out and would get buffed for all of the last four so this work, or it'd be three for Lukier, just normal Lukier, because you'd only be able to call two, three, and one, and zero, if you are using the grade zero. Otherwise, if you're using the Iona, Iona, yeah, Iona, Iona, uh, sometimes I get the name wrong, but uh, with that, you're only, you'd only be able to call a two, uh, a three, and a one, and at that, it'd only get a 2k buff, a uh, 6k buff, but when it calls a four field, uh, It'd, be get, it'd get buffed for all four of those, so that's a four times three, which is like 12, so this makes it a 21 by itself. And so with this, this can hit numbers just by itself, uh, so that allows for a lot of combos. Uh, this work can uh, this can work for Lukier as well. Uh, it could it wouldn't be 21, it'd be 18, but it'd still be able to hit, but the ideal situation would be this, and you uh, Marisica into the 9k into like the okay, Zelman soul if you're at set 16 or you Marisica into Marisica or set 13 uh, and be able to Marisica the first one, Marisica the second one into another attack and then hit Vanguard or uh, for set 16 it'd be Marisica into this, Marisica and the other one into Zelma into a hit and then if if it, he the person is at like say 4 uh, the three damage then they'd go to four then you do it again uh, and then they'd be at five and you do it one more time or you don't do it again uh, you can do it you can get them to four four or five and then at that point you hit with your vanguard 
being really big and at that point your lion will be at like 30 to 40k uh from all the the few times that marisa cook came out that's like another 12k on to 12 to 15k on to the lion so that makes it like 36 not including the boost for, uh from her uh so this column can hit by itself and then so the main goal at that point you just hit with vanguard and then uh if since you broke ride you can swap these two out uh for instance go line into zelma uh and then line will be here you swap zelma out with like the grade zero for instance or the thing it's uh boosting and you swap it in and out uh to then make the line over here be like 24k uh or 21 yeah 24 because it would be the you get six plus the seven so it'd be it'd be at 15 plus the seven so it'd be at 22k so if he didn't get any triggers this column can attack too uh so it'd be 22k plus the other column that could hit so you could potentially get out three two to three pgs no matter what and remove his full field and still have defenses ready for the following turn now uh with without the break ride you can still pretty much do a combo pretty similar to this but this allows you to scale past numbers and use lion you can also i'll real quick i'll skip to it now i skip to it so for set 16 you, you could potentially do like zelma zelma uh uh lion and marisica and you get zelma the other zelma in back into irina to, to buff this this line potentially even higher and then uh or then also use the other zelma to get like the the lion out or marisica after uh to try scale this even further uh you there's a lot of things you could possibly do to try to scale your numbers you can also try to uh use the same thing or have the irna be here instead and from here you could go soul charge one do the zelma and soul charge again you could also do uh zelma Irina, then Zelma into like the Marisica, or just to buff this even further, or you can do the double soul charge. You can also try to maybe try to get the double soul charge and then the grade zero in to get even more to try set for your Marisica uh, to hit twice again. There's a lot of things you can do with Hell, Moon, and Silver Thorns, but that's the majority of the combos with Break Ride. I think Venus and Zelma with the new combinations will allow you to thin your deck a lot more to hit those triggers. Uh, this is like my best to try to get you the most amount with the least amount of time. Otherwise, I feel there will definitely be another video possibly. If you would like me to update this video, let me know. Uh, as I'm, I was trying to get you guys this video within the limited amount of time I had right, right after the deck build for you guys. So I want to make sure that I could get you guys to understand all the possibilities some of our have to make sure that they can put a lot of pressure on the enemy uh, following set 16 or following set 13. There, you can always push with this deck early as well uh, with Marisa Kutna and Irina now. So it's definitely a deck to look out for uh, in the coming sets. Uh, so be prepared. But I hope you all enjoy this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, join my Discord down below. Ask me on twitch.tv slash get0422 or check out any of my other social media on get042.com. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Peace.